Warning. Graphic video. All animals are taken legally. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, it's James. Uh, so we found this rabbit and um, kind of a little baby, I guess. We didn't, from far away, it looked bigger, so that's why we took the shot. Normally we wouldn't go for the baby ones, but just so happened this was. But I tried these new, uh, the destroyer pellets from Crossman, and I mean, you can see the damage it did. These pellets are amazing, so pretty sure we're going to start using these from now on. Um, this was from about, I would say maybe 20, 30 yards away, if that, maybe. So. From 20, 30 yards, that's what you can expect with the destroyers. So we're going to see if we can get some more now. Ready? Ready? Mm-hmm. Nice! Hey, this is Devin with West Coast Varmint Hunters. Um, this is our first rabbit of the day. It was uh, hiding in a bush over there and it popped its head out and I took a shot and hit him directly through the throat. It was an instant kill, a good clean death, and it's a pretty nice sized rabbit. Um, we're probably going to try to skin this one and eat it, so I'll let you know how it tastes later on. Nice. Here we go, we got it. Awesome. Hey, it's Matt here. Uh, we were walking about 60 feet away from the, this area of bushes over here and I just saw something, uh, a small movement in there and I saw uh, little ears sticking up. Uh, it was uh, unlucky for him but lucky for me. I don't, I don't know uh, how I saw it really but uh, I took the shot. I was aiming like a little bit lower than the ears but uh, I guess I hit around the heart. Oh, like exactly the heart. It went down really fast. Like normally the legs kick but it wasn't even kicking so a very fast kill and a uh, pretty decent size. I got it. Here. All right. Ooh, good kill. Hey guys, it's James here. So I got a rabbit finally. Um, first shot was right here, went through its organs and came out, and it didn't die instantly. So it kind of hobbled into this bush right over here, and so we came around, and then I got a headshot right there and a perfect headshot killed it instantly so it didn't suffer for more than a couple of seconds but we took it out with the headshot so good good shot good kill um so now we're gonna go get our three rabbits we might see if we can get one on the way back if not we'll get the three rabbits and we're gonna gut them skin them and then cook them and show you guys how we do that so stay tuned Alright guys, so now we're going to start doing the skinning of the rabbits, so we're going to show you how to skin them and uh, gut them, and then we'll move on to the process of cooking and eating them, so stay tuned. So for skinning these rabbits, you could use a knife or straight up pull the skin off like this, and you don't even need to use a knife, it just depends on how you like to do it or how you want to go about doing it. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you just pinch right here and then pull down. So I'm going to do that all the way up to here and then we'll come back and I'll show you what you need to do next. Now after you have pulled up all the fur, probably should get this part right here. But after you pull up all the fur and most of the skin, what you're going to do is get right here and you pinch up on the skin end. A little, a little bit up on the skin to expose the internal organs and then just kind of be careful not to break it you're gonna have a bad time yeah try and get your finger in there and just go like this all right so then after that is done 
All right, so after that's done, I should probably go up here a little bit more. What you're gonna wanna do, God, that smells horrible. So after <laughs> that's done, then what you're gonna do is cut down here, break the bone, the um, hip bone, like oh. right about here, the pelvis bone. Yeah, pelvis bone, my bad. Pelvis bone right here, and then take out all the organs here, and then I'll show you what to do after that. After you get all of the guts out and um, uh, what you want to do is down here there's going to be, the, I think it's a tailbone, um, but it's this little thing that sticks out here. Basically just cut that off because it'll be a lot easier to get all the extra um, excrement out of there. And then after that, up here there's really not that much meat and you don't want to even be wanting to mess around with the ribs. So what you do is right here at the tip of where these two pieces of uh, meat come together, like right here, just cut it and then cut away all the side uh, the lining for the stomach and then um, that's a piece of rabbit right there and then uh, then you're gonna want to cut right here and right here and then you'll be done so once you have it all gutted up and skinned this is what it should look like you have the feet cut off no ribs and no head and then what you want to do is you don't have to do this but it'll really help get all that um, okay, let me show you. See right there, all that blood that's inside of the meat? When you put salt in the bag, it will definitely help take all that out. And then, you don't ha it'll, it'll just taste a lot better because that's what makes it gamey and stuff like that. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, just put a bunch of salt in there, let it sit for over 24 hours. And if you have like seasonings that you like that have like a lot of salt in it, you can use that too. That's what I do, I have this like beef stuff that I have at home. And you put a bunch of salt like this, like super salty, more than you would put ever on anything. And then you put that seasoning in here. I don't have that now, so I'm going to make a different bag when I get home. But on the way home, this should work perfectly. But yeah, so then tomorrow I'll show you guys how to cook them. So I just got home from my friend's house after doing some rabbit hunting and skinning. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, at his house, uh, I, you guys saw I put a bunch of salt in here. But now what you want to do is um, I was looking for that thing that I normally put in here. It's this like really good, like I think it was like beef or steak, uh, what is it, rub? And I couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna kind of make it how it is. And it, it was kind of spicy. So I've got like this smoked, uh, South African smoked seasoning. I have some paprika, cayenne pepper, and organic chili. And all that is gonna make it uh, kind of a smoky flavor. And I got some onion powder and uh, pepper. So I'm just going to put all that in here and then that will sit overnight and then tomorrow we will put it in the oven. So I had some assistance putting this in because I had to twist it. But um, now I'm putting in the cayenne pepper and you just want to put a, a, like a little dash in it. I mean it probably would come out to maybe half a teaspoon if you guys want to super accurately measure it but I'm not that kind of a guy. So then another like half a teaspoon of onion powder and to finish it off put another half a teaspoon of black pepper and then kind of push it down a little bit so the air comes out because you don't want a ton of air in there and you seal it up double check to make sure you seal it up so it doesn't come out of you and then just kind of go like that mix it up get it all in there all right that should be good so then I mean if you want to do it exactly how I did it that's about the color you're gonna want it to be and then just put this in your uh, fridge I'm gonna put it in for um, uh, about 24 hours or so and then tomorrow we'll um, Cook it up. Basically what you're doing is is the salt in here is going to pull out all the extra um, blood that is still in the uh, meat and then it's also going to kind of tenderize it and then the added flavors will be kind of put into the meat itself. So for me we're doing it for 24 hours and then I'll show you guys how to cook it tomorrow. The uh, rabbits have been sitting in the mixture for over 24 hours now so um, we're going to take them out. Alright guys so after you get your uh, rabbits out of its mixture and then um, pat it down with the towel just to dry it off a little bit. You're gonna want to get a uh, knife to cut the legs off. So just kind of cut through the bone, just so that the legs are separate. 
and it makes it easier to eat. So you're just gonna do that for um, all of them. We only have two of them. We had like four of them, but like two of them we saw in the liver, they had spots and stuff, so we decided not to eat those, didn't wanna chance it. So we just have two that we can eat right now. So, all right. So then after you've cut them all up, you're just gonna wanna put a little bit of um, olive oil all over it and like that and the um, bacon doesn't stick to it so just put a little on. oh the other thing you're gonna want to definitely get is some um, what are these? toothpicks toothpicks yeah I lost my mind <laughs> I mean then <laughs> it stays in there and doesn't come out gonna do is just drizzle a little bit of olive oil, not too much, just enough to cover it when we shake it up. Maybe a two, five, six shakes of salt and same with the pepper. And then you're gonna get with some onion powder and about the same. And what you're gonna do wanna do is close up the bag. Just start shaking it up. Get a spread all the salt, pepper, and other stuff in, around in there. Make sure it gets a, a good coating on all the pepper. Just like that. And what you're going to want to do is put it onto the vegetable cooker for the grill. You want to put tin foil under it so none of the stuff falls off. Nicely spread it around so it cooks evenly. And that's that. Well, we got all of our uh, potatoes cut up and we kind of put them all around our uh, rabbit so that way then all the bacon juice and the rabbit juice kind of come down into the um, potatoes and fry them up just like that. And then, um, so now what we're going to do is uh, put it into the oven. We got the oven set to uh, 450 or 350 degrees, my bad. And we're going to um, put them in there for about 45 minutes, check them at that, um, pull one out and see how it looks. And if it needs a little more time, probably put them in for like another 15, 20 minutes. And then um, the uh, bell peppers will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes on the barbecue. So we'll just put them on there about halfway to about when it's almost going to be ready for the rabbit. Alright, so now we're going to put it into the oven. And then, show you guys what's up. Looking good. It's got 20 minutes left. It's all sizzling and yummy. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it's finally done now. It looks delicious. Oh, the potatoes are soaked in some uh, grease from the bacon. It's mm -hmm. kind of hot, and it can't tell you how good it smells right now. It smells amazing. Alrighty, take the after. first few bites. Mm -hmm. Screw this. <laughs> oh, that actually does taste good. Yep. It does taste a lot like chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and dove. It's like a mix between chicken and dove. That's great. The potatoes taste good. The peppers taste good. The rabbit tastes good. So for the first time, I think this went pretty well. Mm -hmm. So, enjoy guys.